So get this, you're doing some chores, or lazing around, and you hear that unmistakable hiss. Uh Uh-oh, is that a snake in my house? Now, you're not one for exotic pets, which means you've got a slithery, uninvited visitor. Hmm, let's see. Question 1, why is it here? And question 2, how do I get rid of it? Yeah, I'll bet you're that calm. Here we go, a two-parter. Snakes will try to come indoors in extreme weather. Remember that snakes are cold-blooded reptiles, which means their environment is what controls their body temperature. Versus mammals, like you and me, we have warm blood that keeps us mostly cozy no matter what the weather is. If it's scorching or raining buckets out there, they'll seek refuge in an unsuspecting house. They may be looking for a cool, damp spot to chill down, like a basement, or shelter from the rain so that it won't destroy their nest. On that note, where will snakes try to hide? Along with the basement, snakes may try to hide in your walls, attic, and crawl spaces. These areas are dark, mostly cold, and sheltered, so they're perfect real estate for a snake to make itself at home. Places like these are also common hidey holes for mice and creepy crawlies that make for some tasty meals in a snake's eyes. If there's access to some snake cuisine, it just may move in permanently. Lucky you! And once they settle down for good, snakes will nest in your house if they can. If you've got those perfect conditions, a snake will build its nest in your home and then you'll have a big problem on your hands. Building a nest means potential egg laying. Depending on the size of the species, they can lay between 6 and 100 eggs at a time. How did it get in my house anyway? You shouldn't find any boas in your humble abode. Snakes found in houses are usually on the smaller side because they can wiggle their way in through small cracks, openings, and any weak spots in your home. If they get in through the basement or attic, they likely found a crack or gap you didn't even know was there. Okay, understood, but how common is it to find a snake in the house? Well, it's more common than you'd think. In some places, snakes are part of the daily life and are as common a pest as mice or mosquitoes. For example, it's normal to beat the bed with a stick before climbing in so that you won't find yourself lying next to a snake. Ooh, sweet dreams! Where you live and what preventative measures you take, more on that later, will determine how often you'll have to deal with snakes indoors. Sorry friend, you and that snake have been waiting there so patiently. Okay, so now for the most important question. How do you get rid of the dang thing? Step 1. Any guesses? Stay calm. (laughs) I know it sounds like cliché advice when dealing with a potentially dangerous situation. But remember the golden rule when it comes to wild animals. It's more scared of you than you are of it. If you're waving your arms around, screaming at the top of your lungs, and reaching for a shovel, then you're going to scare that thing into making the first move. Also known as some razor-sharp fangs coming straight for whatever part of you they can get to first. That or the snake's flight mode will kick in before the fight, and it'll dart to an unreachable place. Then you'll really be out of luck. Step 2. Get any kids or pets out of the area. Before you do anything, clear the room. Sparky's gotta go somewhere safe, and Mr. Whiskers too. Oh yeah, and besides the kids, don't forget your pets either. (laughs) Hey, all jokes aside, pets and children are smaller than you are, and they move more unpredictably. This may agitate the legless home invader. When dealing with snakes, you should always make your moves quiet and slow. If you think a pet or child has been bitten, take them straight to the vet or hospital. Step 3. Determine if the snake is poisonous. When all else fails, ask the snake. A bite will not only be painful, but possibly dangerous too. Try to get a good look at it without disturbing it and read about poisonous snakes that can be found in your area. You should ideally do that research before your first rendezvous. Time is of the essence here. It's usually small snakes of the garden variety that hang out in backyards. These types may not be venomous, but a snake bite can also make you sick. If the species is poisonous though, then skip to step 7. Not right now, I've got some useful tips here. Step 4. You're still with me, right? Okay. Guide the snake outside with a broom. Only do this if you're sure the snake isn't venomous. 
set up barriers as best you can to keep it in that one room, and open the door to the outside. Gently guide the snake through a path to the exit. Don't use a poking motion. Nobody likes being poked, snakes included. Just pushing the broom behind it should do the trick. Step 5. If the broom method didn't work, restrict its ability to move. Cover the snake with a big blanket, or put a laundry hamper on top of it with the open side down. This will give it just a small space to move in. If the snake is surrounded by darkness and can't see, it'll calm down and give you time to think. This also keeps the snake in one place, so you know right where it's at. Step 6. Get the snake outside. Again, only attempt this if you know the snake isn't venomous. The safest way to hold one is under its belly near the tail. Don't squeeze too hard, you'll hurt the poor guy. And well, he probably won't react in a courteous way. Hold the snake as securely as you can while keeping it away from your body. Get it outside and release it far from your property. If you cover the snake with a blanket, you can scoop the blanket up and gently wiggle it outside to let the little guy go. Step 7. Call animal control. Preferably the first step no matter what kind of snake you're dealing with. But again, time is of the essence, and you don't want that thing getting away before the pros get there. This is undoubtedly your first move if you know the snake is venomous. Anyway, animal control will have special equipment to remove the snake safely. And give them a call if the snake is hiding, but you know it's there. When in doubt, leave it to the professionals. 8. Try a DIY snake trap. All you need is a plastic water bottle, scissors, and snake food. <laughs> if you use a soda bottle, wash it thoroughly so no more smells come from it, and screw the cap on tight. Cut a hole at the opposite end of the bottle that's just big enough for the snake to fit through. You can find snake food <laughs> at your local pet store. That just makes me laugh. Slide some into the bottle so that it's close to the cap end. Set your trap where you've seen the snake and check it every day. Once you've caught it, call your local pest control to come get it. 9. Prevent any future visits. Make sure any cracks, gaps, or holes around your home are sealed. Check your attic, basement, and crawl spaces thoroughly, because they might be easy to miss in these areas. You can also prevent snakes from showing up in the first place by getting rid of other pests they see as food, like mice, squirrels, and other small animals. If you're having a consistent snake problem, first get rid of any nesting birds around your yard, since the eggs make for a tasty treat. Um, for the snakes, just to clarify. And it's time for me to make like a snake and slither out of here. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. Here are some other cool videos I know you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side.